Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at how to switch cellular carriers on the Pepwave Max BR1. So you can see on the left we have our Pepwave Max BR1, and we have an active Verizon SIM card inserted. In the background of our image here we have the web interface for the BR1, and you can see it currently is connected to Verizon LTE. To go ahead and switch carriers on other routers, a lot of times you have to change complicated settings or flash firmware. The BR1 makes this much easier where you simply have to remove and reinsert a second SIM card into that same slot. Now in the background you'll notice that it still shows connected to Verizon. After a few seconds this will disconnect and show us no device detected. So now we're going to go back to the BR1 and insert our T-Mobile SIM card. Once this is clicked in, we can go and head back to the web interface. You'll see after a few seconds, this will switch over from no device detected to device detected and obtaining IP address. This is where the BR1 has recognized the SIM has changed. It has automatically switched carriers and is now preparing to connect on T-Mobile. We'll give it just a few moments to do that for us. You'll also notice the brief moment where the BR1 shows checking connectivity. That is where the BR1 does an active health check to make sure that link is active before showing it as connected. So that's really all there is to it. As long as you are swapping SIMS cards to another carrier that is compatible with the model BR1 you have, you're in good shape. This is the BR1 LTE for the US, so this works on AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint support is coming soon. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and for more information on the BR1 or how you can use it, contact the experts at 3G Store or visit 3gstore.com.